In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the circular pixel stretch effect. This effect looks best when used with a photo of someone or something that shows the entire body with at least one outstretched appendage. The first step is to create a new document by pressing Ctrl plus N. You can also go to File and New. To ensure that your result will look like mine, make the width and height 1000 pixels each. The color mode is RGB and 8 bits per channel. The background color is irrelevant since we're going to fill it with a radial gradient. Click the lock icon to unlock the background and double click it to open its layer style window. Click gradient overlay and the gradient bar. Since I already know the color. The blend mode is normal and the opacity is 100%. Check reverse and make the style, radial. The angle is 30 degrees and the scale is 150%. Open the photo. Next, we'll separate the subject from its background by making a selection around the subject. There are many ways to do this, but for this example, I'll use the quick selection tool. If you're using this tool as well, makes its radius anywhere between 5 and 10 pixels. Drag the tool over the inside of your subject to select it. To remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag over those areas. To refine the selection's edges, go to Select and Mask. I click Select and Mask. To adjust the size of your brush, make sure the Caps Lock key is off. And press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Drag the brush over all soft edges like hair and thin shapes like shoelaces. Output it to a new layer with layer mask. Open your rectangular marquee tool and create a very thin, vertical rectangle over a section of your subject that shows many colors. Cut and copy it onto its own layer by pressing Ctrl or CMD plus J. We'll merge these three layers by shift clicking the top layer to make it active as well. And pressing Ctrl or CMD plus E drag it up until it snaps to the top of your document. Because the colors are stretched beyond the sides of our document, we need to crop off the excess before we do the next step. To do this, press Ctrl or CMD plus A to select our visible image and go to image and crop. Then, deselect it by pressing Ctrl or CMD plus D. Go to Filter, Distort, and Polar Coordinates. Tick, Rectangular to Polar. Drag the circle below your cutout subject. Open your Transform tool. And resize and position the circle. Then, press Enter or Return. Click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the circle. Open your eraser tool. Adjust its size if you like. Make its hardness 100%, as well as its opacity. Draw over the section of the circle between the two appendages. Double click the thumbnail of your subject to open its layer style window. Click drop shadow. I'll drag the window to the side so you can see how the drop shadow looks. The blend mode is linear burn, the color is black and the opacity is 20%. The angle is 50 degrees. The distance is 40 pixels. The spread is 0% and the size is 20 pixels.
right click or secondary click drop shadow and click create layer if you see this message just click ok next we'll create a shadow under the circle make the original subject photo active and click the new layer icon to make a new layer above it open your brush tool and brush picker pick a soft click once and open your transform tool go to the top middle anchor point and press and hold alt or option plus shift as you drag it down approximately this much drag it below the circle and go to the middle anchor point on one of the sides as before press and hold alt or option plus shift as you drag it out approximately this much then press enter or return if you want to move the shadow open back your move tool and move it thanks for watching